Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Welcome back to another unboxing video. This is the last one of the ICM 124 scale 1910 series figures. And what do we have today? Well this is the second set that I wanted to get for my dad but unfortunately he passed away before I could give these to him because my dad built a lot of 124 scale fire trucks covering the years 1920 to 1930. And at the end of this video I will point you in the direction of my dad's fire truck video that I made uh, just after he passed away in 2019. So what do we have today? Well we have the American Firemen in the 1910 series from our good friends at ICM. This set is really cool because it's got a fireman and a young boy in here getting a fire hat on. So without further ado, Danny the dog and I will unbox this great set of figures and show you exactly what's inside. So if you like that kind of thing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you're the first one to check it out. And without further delay, uh, let's go down to the bench and see what's in the box. Here we go with another Fireman set from ICM. This is the second set in the series. And I like to think of this one as what happened after the fire. So the previous box that I showed from last week is the guys getting to the fire, and this would be afterwards. And it would be kind of nice to think of this as my dad being a young kid back in the old days. But my dad was born in 32, so this would not quite be happening. But it could kind of happen in a way. Only the clothing would be different, like... Not so much the fireman equipment uniform stuff, but definitely for the kid. So we've got 125th scale here. we got the fireman just finished putting out the fire. And the young guy getting the hat from the other fire chief, perhaps. So again, a really cool concept art and really cool concept for the figures. On this side of the box, we can see each of the individual firemen. There's the chief with the cap and the child getting the cap put on, as well as the other fireman who is looking on here. On this side of the box, we can see the ICM logo, as well as the scale and the model kit number. And over here, the model is made for ages 14 and up. You will need paint and glue in order to put this together. Now let's open up the lid on our fireman here. And once again, ICM just does this as a skin the top of the box when the real box underneath is a thicker cardboard which is nice because it's more uh, dur uh, durable and stable I don't know what I was going to say you know I had my tooth pulled out and uh, it's just like I can't really form words like I used to it's a molar that got removed but uh, at any rate now here's something interesting we're so used to seeing the gray plastic but now this model is molded in a tan plastic now here's the instruction sheets, which Danny the dog will go over in a minute. And there's the plastic components, which I will go over after the instructions. So let's introduce Danny the dog and get this done. Hello once again, everybody. This is Danny the dog with another great ICM 1910 series unboxing video for figures. Now what we have here is the American Fireman in 125th scale. This is Kit. 24005, which is another awesome, awesome kit. So Trevor, give me the pointer here. There you go, Danny. Thank you. Okay, so what we have here is we've got the fireman. Now you get a nice fire axe in here that the one man is carrying, and there's his face and the hats, and the badges for the front of the fireman hats, as well as the logos. You get the nice legs with the tall boots as well as the jacket with a long coat in the back and same on this side and that's fireman number two and down here is the young child now there is a cool feature in here which we'll see on the back but right down here is the paint color callouts for Ravel, Tamiya and these are the paint names in Ukrainian and then here we have them in English so again, as you can see, this is another really, really cool model kit. And on the back of this instruction sheet is the paint callout colors. So let's go look at that. So here we go with the figures themselves. Now I want to show you the really cool part. So I need that pointer stick again. 
There you go, Danny. Thank you. All right, so here we have the police chief handing his helmet to the boy. Now you see these straps down here. They're not really part of the kit, but with the question mark and the little asterisk and the E, it says down here that you would actually scratch build these belts in here. Same with the strap here on the other guy. Now you can do that with some leather or something like that. I'm not too sure actually. Leave that up to you. But at any rate, you can see just how cool this is. There's the fire chief. And now you'd have to turn the boy around. But that would be the fire chief's hands with this helmet here going on the boy's head. And then over here, you've got the guy holding the fire axe. And it's nice that it's not just molded in his hand as a thing, but that you can actually have the axe, you know, separate. So maybe you can have him hold a fire hose or something like that. Now you can see these guys are kind of wearing green pants with the black or, you know, smoke gray kind of uniforms. Here, move this. So yeah, that's uh, sort of what they look like. And again, it seems kind of hard to find color pictures of these guys, but there are some fire museums around where you might be able to find actual uniforms. Trevor did a Google search and I, I think it kind of came up with black and white pictures a lot and uh, just sort of not what you're looking for, but what you're looking for. You know how sometimes the internet is so weird you can't find anything? It was one of those days. So anyway, let's take a look at the plastic parts. So back to you, Trevor. Thank you so much, Danny. Well, this is, of course, the last set we've got. So we might as well really, really look at it. So there's the firefighters, of course, and uh, their faces and the fire axe, as well as the helmets and the badges and the little logos in there. And again, the nice legs. Oh, Danny, these uh, aren't actually boots up to here. That's the pant leg. Oh, okay. Yeah, same with this. So again, you got the nice belt. The suits are quite accurate. ICM did some really great research. So let's bring this up to the camera. Again, you can see the nice detail on there. I don't know if I like the brown better than the gray for plastic color. Uh, I do believe the female mechanics were in this brown. I can't remember for the Henry Ford guys. They might have been as well. That's the only set of figures that I built that I can't really review and show you on this channel because they're already built. But at any rate, again, nice detail. You got them vintage mustaches on the firemen again really cool and now we got the boy down here and again it's quite accurate to the 30s they did have these long socks and all this sort of stuff or sorry the 1910 era and i should bring this down so you can actually see it i'm <laughs> going by my eyes outside of the camera not what the camera's seeing so again there's that nice little uh, jacket as well as the pants and the legs and the hands would be going up to receive the fire hat or the helmet, I guess. And then there's the legs on the other side. Again, really excellent detail. Now you will want to paint this inside of the skirt down here. Uh, leave this unpainted so the legs can glue in from the top bits. But you don't want to look underneath and see that this is plastic brown. So again, Overall, really nice. I really like that fire axe up there, too. That's pretty cool. So again, these will look really great alongside in that diorama with my dad's fire trucks. And the nice part about this is I'm not trying to get somebody to sit in a seat, which I hope is not going to bust something off, like uh, the pedals or the uh, gear stick lever or some of the older like hand brakes and stuff that the vintage fire trucks had. Like, it just... I don't want to shatter those off from my dad's models and then try to glue them up around some figure. I mean, if I, I'm not even sure if I need to do that, but that's what I hope doesn't happen. But these guys are standing outside in front of the fire trucks, so this is a little more safe and still gives you the story. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that great video of these 1910 American firemen from ICM. Another great company from the Ukraine, so show your support for that. Now, like I was saying at the beginning of this video, you can check out my dad's fire truck video that I made in 2019 by clicking on up here. 
And if you're looking for model kits, don't forget to visit us at www.monster-hobbies.ca and check out our collection that's on for sale right now. It's just a mouse click away. So until next time, everybody, happy model building, and we'll see you in the next video.